size 36 up to 38 European size sizing. You need 10 up to 11 skeins. Per size up you need to add 2 skeins. One skein of durable coral has 125 meters of yarn and you need to add a hook size 3 mm or a 3.5 mm. I already crocheted one part of the diamond dress and now we start off with the second part and then afterwards I'll show you how to crochet the two parts together with the sleeves and so on and so on. So get set ready. 10 skeins for a size 36, 38 European size. If you have a 40, 42, you need at least 12 up to 14 skeins and so on and so on. We start off with a foundation double crochet row. So don't start with a chain and then crochet double crochet into it otherwise you, th only then you don't have the stretch when you start with the foundation double crochet row you have the maximum stretch you need mm -hmm. so if you find it hard to crochet a foundation double crochet row then take a hook size four millimeter and start off with chains and then add your double crochets into the chains let's start with the foundation double crochet row Okay, put the skeins aside, pick up the first one, it is a light coral color, so I saved the, the, the papers because then I know how many skeins I actually have used. I know for sure that I can use 10 skeins, that should be enough. Okay, put this aside and we start off with the foundation double crochet row. So we start off with chain 3, so pick the yarn with your thumb and your index finger, the beginning of the yarn and then with the middle finger and the ring finger the working yarn. So you've got here the beginning and it walks through your fingers. Put your hand down, take your hook and lift the yarn up like an A shape and then you twist it around. And now you've got a little twist in the yarn. Hold your yarn here and move your fingers up and pull that loop through. That way you get a slip knot on your hook. Well, pull tight, move up the chain and we'll start with the chain 3 as the first double crochet. So 1, 2 and 3. Now yarn around, go back to the first chain you made. So yarn around and go back to the first chain you made and put your hook through. Underneath two loops. So yes, one and two. Sorry, perhaps a little bit harsh to see, but here it is through. Underneath two loops and pull up that loop one time. Let loosely the chain. Now yarn around, pull through one loop, now you made your chain from the foundation, don't pull too tight, otherwise you have the problem in the next stitch. Yarn around and pull through two loops, yarn around and pull through two loops. Now you've got two foundation double crochets. Let's start with the third. So yarn around and go back to the first stitch you made. It's a v-shaped stitch it's like a chain you make normally and there you put your hook underneath underneath two strands of yarn so two loops here it is yarn around and pull up the loop let it loose loosely and then yarn around pull through one loop that's your chain from your foundation and then yarn around pull through two and yarn around pull through two that's your double so now I've got three foundation double crochets. Yarn around, go back to the shape of the V again here in the bottom. That is your chain normally. So put your hook underneath two loops, yarn around and pull through. Let it loosely, yarn around, pull through one loop. Now you made your chain and pull through two and pull through two. And now you continue for a multiple of 22 stitches. 
if it's not wide enough, add more 20 tor 22 double crochets more and so on and so on. I made 3 times 22 foundation double crochets. Now we add 4 more. So that means 2 in the beginning and 2 in the end. So this is number 1. It's number 2. And number 3. And number four, and then the foundation double crochet row has been finished. Voila. Now I've got three times 22 double crochets plus four more. I will start with the first row. What I usually do is chain one, turn, and make directly in the stitch a double crochet. So yarn around and go into the first stitch, and there you make your double crochet. This way you won't get any gaps on the sides, because you don't want gaps on the places they are not needed. So, now, chain one, skip one stitch, and over the next stitches you make one double crochet. In the following 21 stitches you will make one double crochet. This is number two. Number three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. If I'm going too fast, please just press or hit the pause button. And play on when you need to. This is number 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 and 21. Now I've got made. I've made with a uh, double in the first chain one, skip one stitch, and in the next 21 stitch I make one double crochet. Now chain one, skip one stitch, and over the next 21 stitches you will make one double crochet, and you see me back there, back again. So I made my chain one, skip one stitch, and over the next 21 stitches I made one double crochet. Now again, chain one. Skip one stitch and over the following 21 stitches you will make one double crochet in each stitch. So that means 21 double crochets in a row. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 and you'll see me back again after I finish the 21 double crochets. I just finished my 21 double crochets. Right now, so 21 doubles started with a chain one, skip one stitch, and 21 doubles in the stitches. Chain one, skip one stitch, and in the last stitch, you make one double crochet. The last chain one you don't count, so uh, th chain three you won't count. Chain one and turn around. Now we're at the correct side of the work, so mark here if you need to but this is your correct side on top of the last double crochet from the previous row you make one double crochet so chain one and directly one double crochet in the same stitch oh, sorry voila now in the chain one space you make one double crochet chain one skip on double and over the next 19 stitches 19 you make one double crochet. So one, so skip one stitch here, one double in the following, and then in the following next nine, 18 stitches you make one double crochet. That counts as uh, 19 double crochets in a row. You'll see me back after I finish my 19 double crochets. I finished the 19 double crochets in a row. 
So, start it here with one double on top of the double, one double in the chain one space from the previous row, then chain one, skip one stitch and 19 double crochets in a row. Here. Now we start with a chain one and then we double into the chain one space from the previous row because we need to skip one stitch and that's the 21st stitch of the previous row. So chain one and in the chain one space on the previous row you make one double crochet, chain one, skip the first double and over the following 19 double crochets from the previous row you make one double crochet. And you see me back again after I finished my 19 double crochets in a row. I finished my 19 doubles, I ended one before the last stitch here. So now we start again with the chain one, one double and then chain one space and chain one. So chain one, go to the chain one space, you make one double crochet into it, chain one, skip one following double and in the next 19 stitches you make one double crochet in each stitch. After I finished my 19 double crochets you'll see me back again. I just finished my 19 double crochets and we're at the end so now chain one go to the chain one space you make one double crochet into it and in the next stitch it's actually a chain one you made instead of the double because your stitch is on the other side so we started here with chain one and two doubles next to each other chain one skip one stitch 19 doubles in a row chain one one double in a chain one space chain one and 19 double crochets in a row and again chain one skip one stitch one double in a chain one space here start chain one one double in a chain one space chain one skip one stitch 19 double crochets in a row and then chain one skip one stitch double crochet in the chain one and double crochet in the last stitch since your stitch is on the left side of your double where you need to work in is on this edge the chain one little explanation here's the chain one this is the beginning of the diamond tops and the bottoms so this one points to each other and this one goes out of each other so here you go wider and here you go smaller so we're now at 19 stitches the next row will be 17 the following row will be 15 and here you have one there will be three and five and seven and nine and so on and so on i hope that clears it a bit up if you need a written pattern please hit the info box there's a link to the free pattern online so on top of the double you make one double in the next double you make one double and in the chain one you make one double that is not that harsh i think it is only the way you crochet it makes a difference second and the third in the chain one space then again chain one and 17 double crochets next to each other so chain one skip one stitch and in the following 17 you make one double crochet and you see me back again after i finished my 17 double crochets in a row i just finished my 17 double crochets in a row and now we start off with the diamond square that needs to get wider every row so here's one and should be three in this row so chain one skip one double and now in the chain one space you make one double crochet on top of the double you make one double crochet and in the next chain one space you make a double crochet and that is from 1 to 3 to 5 to 7 and so on and so on so chain 1 skip 1 double and in the next following 17 doubles you make 1 double crochet and I finish my 17 doubles so chain 1 1 double crochet in the chain 1 space 1 double crochet on top of the double crochet and 1 double crochet in the chain 1 space and chain 1 skip one stitch and over the next 17 stitches you make one double crochet in each stitch 
I made the 17 doubles, chain one, and now we're at the other side of this row. We'll make one double crochet in the chain one space, so you skip the last double. One double on top of the double crochet, and one double crochet in the last stitch. Here it is. You see, this is chain one. That's the place you put your hook in and put your last double crochet. Like this. Now you get a nice even side or edge or how do you want to call it, border. So what have we done? We started here with 3 doubles, then chain 1, 17 doubles, chain 1, 3 doubles, chain 1, 17 doubles, chain 1, 3 doubles, chain 1, 17 doubles, chain 1, 3 doubles. Following row. Now you already see that this one gets wider and wider and the, whole, the little holes will go wider out of each other. So the next row will be 5, the following 7, the following 9 and so on and so on. Up until you have 21 stitches and then we go back to the point again. Like we do here. So cut now 17 stitches between the two spaces then the next row will be 15 the row after will be 13 the row after will be 11 and so on and so on up until you have one gap over so only a chain one space and then we start going wider that way you make your diamond squares what i've done with counting from the first point up to the last point is one diamond so i've done four full diamond squares for the front part and for the back part must be also four full diamond motifs so from the chain one up until the next chain one is one full diamond now we start off with the sides again on the sides you, you won't have a full diamond motive so you have here instead of three five seven nine you have three four five six that's the difference on the sides of the front and back part so please do keep that in mind that you increase here on the sides with one stitch to the left and not two so every stitch one double plus one double in the chain one space here there's four doubles in a row now chain one and like i told before instead of 17 doubles you make 15 so you skip one double from the previous row and in the 15 next 15 stitches you make one double crochet here i am 15 doubles in a row one stitch left from 17 from the previous row and now we're going to make here five doubles in a row so chain one skip the double from the previous row one double in the chain one space one double over the following three doubles from the previous row it's one two and number three and one double in the chain one space makes five doubles in a row here it is chain one skip one stitch from the previous row so skip the first double and over the next 15 double crochets from the previous row you make one double crochet on top of them so that means 15 double crochets in a row okay i make my 15 double crochets in a row show you here is five doubles chain one 15 doubles in a row and now we start off sorry if you do count 15 plus 5 is 20 then you're good to go that way you know i'm always right with the stitch count so every row is two of these parts 20 stitches in total do not count the chain ones just only the doubles if you count them you know for sure that you're correct so chain one skip one double and in the chain one space you make one double crochet on top of the next three doubles from the previous row you make one double crochet one two and number three that counts for four doubles in a row and in the chain one space after you make one double counts for five doubles in a row chain one skip one double from the previous row so skip a stitch 
And in the next 15 stitches you'll make one double crochet on top of each stitch. So that's number one. Number two. And you see me back again after I have finished my 15 double crochets in a row. I finished my 15 double crochet. Now we're at the end. And instead of five, we need four doubles here because we had the border side. So chain one, skip one stitch, one double in the chain one space. And one double over the next three stitches. And the last stitch is the chain one you started the previous row with. Here it is. Yarn around and make your double in there. And we've got four doubles. So you get a nice little edge. No gaps, no big holes. Neat and clean. So chain one, turn. Instead of seven doubles, normally we will get five. So instead of 15, we make 13 double crochets in a row. Instead of five, we make seven double crochets and so on and so on and you finish off with five doubles in the end the next row will be six doubles in the beginning and the end in between 11 here 9 here 11 9 11 and as i said before six in the following row seven doubles 11 you make nine eleven here 11 9 11 nine and six seven sorry that way you go on up until you get back into the point and then we start with here crochet parts together so i made it up until every little point came up and now i show you this row here goes white and this rows go together these rows go together every row you make one stitch wider so one in the chain one and on each side plus the chain one aside it now we're here in the stitch count of 19 so here you've got more stitches here you got less less stitches here you have one double in top so plus 19 1 plus 19 makes 20 in the beginning at the end you have 11 doubles now we start with the row for the beginning that this diamond square goes wider and this diamond square goes smaller into the top so we create here a full diamond square and here we make a new diamond motif i already chain one turn my work around there it is now i'll zoom in for a bit to show you better so i've got here 11 doubles and that must become 12 doubles in a row so chain one already made and in the first stitch you make your double and over the next stitches you make one double in each stitch up until you have 12 doubles in a row that means one double in the chain one space as well you see me back when i've got my stitches done so i made my 21 stitches sorry 11 stitches chain one skip one stitch and double in the next chain one space from here up to here you must create 21 double crochets so you start with 11 and now 21 and that means that you've crocheted the beginning row equal so this is number one plus 20 more doubles in a row included one double in the chain one space you see me back when i've got the 21 doubles in a row and 21st double crochet in the chain one space now you're on top of the chain one double crochet you make your chain one and one double crochet in the next chain one space and then in total up to here with 21 doubles and we finish this row off together so i finished here now you actually at the end of the diamond point so that means the half diamond motif has been finished so when you're at the chain one you're done with this part and then now we start crocheting the points comes together and here points comes 
goes outside of each other. So we mirror what we do here, we mirror on the other side. So here I've got one double, then three, then five, seven, nine, and so on, and so on. And between the chain ones here on the wider part you go from 21 to 19, to 17, to 15, and so on, and so on. And on the outside here, you move up in one stitch. So you now you've got 12 doubles, the next row 11, the next row 9, 10, and so on. Uh, 11, 10, 9, 8, sorry. And so on, and so on. So, now you start with... Sorry, I will zoom out for a bit to show you. It's more better like this. So, instead of 12, you start here with 11. Up till you have got one stitch left on the side so you get a half diamond motive here so from 12 to 11 9 uh, 11 10 9 and so on and here you continue with 19 one in the chain one space 19 doubles one in the chain one space and here 11 doubles Turn the work and then 10 doubles, 3 doubles, 17 doubles, and so on, and so on. That way you will see that the point comes together and here it goes wider out. So here it goes wider out and this will go towards the board, border side. Repeat this up until you have 4 diamond motifs for full diamond motifs on top of each other and then your part is done and then you start crocheting the second part only one section smaller than the other part so for the first part i made the length of four diamond squares in the length only the front part i made four full sections of 22 stitches and this is what i mean by the length of four diamond motifs so it's number three and number four this is for me a good length if you need more length add more diamond motifs but then you need a bit more yarn than i use so for 10 skeins, you have for about 4 length, 4 diamond motif lengths enough. This space here counts almost for 1 diamond motif with 1 skein. So you really need 5 skeins per front or back part. If you want the length more length you need more yarn so please do keep that in mind i will finish off the back part of my dress and then we finish the dress together by crocheting instead of using a needle in part two i see you back then